Hey guys, I hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more EU4. The <laughs> I had to clear my throat there for a moment. Um, but regardless, hope you all got, like, hope you guys are all having a good day. We won the Siege of Naples, which is beautiful. Let's go ahead and split you guys all up. And uh, carpet siege down southern Italy. Oh no, he's got an army here. Unfortunate. But it's okay. We'll be able to actually stack wipe them here. Maybe not. That's fine. Beautiful. Alright, cool. Well, this is fine. Basically, as we siege all this stuff down, we'll get a bit of extra war score, and we might even be able to uh, enforce our demands, though I don't think so. It's going to be pretty close. Um, let's recall you for now. 100 days? Are you kidding me, man? Not even going to be able to send a peace deal. Send you guys over here. It's only a level 2 fort, so... Oh, come on now. Andy's attacking me. Uh, let's go ahead and force march over. Oh, okay. He's suicided into his my men. That's fine. Let's go ahead and barrage the walls. Hitting G, am I not? Nope. There we go. Let's get the cannons over there. And now he's done. And uh, here, now we can see what's going on. Might need to, need to actually get uh, some occupied and besieged provinces. We'll see. Can I get fleet basing? Thank you, dear. Thank you, thank you. Let's go ahead and repair you guys up for a couple of months and then have you guys go privateer in uh, English Channel. There you go. Start getting us back in the positives, which is super nice to sound. Super nice sounding. More monies. Stack wipe those guys over here. And uh, siege down the rest of this over here. And uh, let's actually go ahead and head on over here and blockade him up. That might be enough. Reinforcement speed or morale of navies who we already have. Go ahead and go with the half off reinforcement speed guy. Um, right here. Upgrade you a few times as well. Let's take you guys over here. Very good. Should be it. Just gonna need to wait a few months, but yep, this is it. His war exhaustion will stack up and he will eventually succumb to this. Um, if I really wanted to, I could land some men, but he's got quite the army size over here, so I'm not gonna not gonna push my luck. I'm just going to speed five it for a moment. Let's go ahead and actually... Uh, so. But he still hasn't taken out any loans. What's his army stuff go looking like? Low manpower. So we're just going to actually go ahead and sabotage his recruitment again. That's fine. We are going to... Build spy network on these guys. We're going to quit worrying about Spain for now. Choose with Bengal is over. And Portugal. Do I care about Portugal anymore? Kind of not. He doesn't really have anything I want. Ooh. I would like this, actually. I want that province right there. So, let's see here. Maybe instead of over here? Yes, we can do this. And we'll take some of your money just because screw you, you know? So, we're taking the rest of these. We're taking Malta, which will allow us to reach over here. We're taking this, which I, think, which I think will allow us to raid the U.S. East Coast. We're actually, ooh, really low on sailors. Hmm. So we could possibly take this one island up here as well if we really wanted to. Hmm. I think we should. Makes sense. We'll just wait on it. As his war exhaustion stacks up, he'll uh, be more and more likely to do it. Are they going to Jamaica? They are. 
These rebels just keep on killing themselves on his navy, on his army, which is really funny. Um, is this dude any good? No, he's super old and he's cruel, so. This guy is not as old, but he's... Navigator, very good. Well, this is ideal, I must say. So I don't know why his, uh... His, um, stats aren't going up, which is weird, but... It's gonna cost us some Diplo points, but that's fine. These guys are getting damaged, but they're also getting, uh... Um... They're getting... Repaired as well, which is funny. How are you not going up? His war exhaustion is, like, rising, but it's not giving me... Any reasons? Hmm. We'll see. We'll just keep on it. We'll be good. Um, go ahead and convert Ibiza. If we had um, had this province back, that would be better for us. Might be worth. But uh, I'm just going to wait. If he really wants to hold off for it, he can let his war exhaustion stack up and that's fine. He has revolts now. Relative strength of alliances. I wonder if I built up a little bit more of an army. Command exceeds war score by one. Hmm. I wonder if we took back Abruzio, Abruzos or whatever, if we could do that. Kill off those rebels so they don't take our land. Very good. Siege specialist. I like it. Californian Separatists. Oh, I thought that was strange, but that's okay. It's weird cultural stuff going on over there. 56? Yes. <clears throat> cool. So we're going to be taking a bunch of stuff over here, which will allow us to raid all this. We can already raid, like, all of this. Okay. Oh, I could have just totally not been taking money. <laughs> that's fine. There we go. Our reach has expanded. We now have almost all of this over here. I should probably increase my uh, my trade. Okay, very cool. We gotta attack Tondo and take all the Philippines as well. All right, cool, 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 cool. I am blown away at how much. 52 ducats a month we're stealing from the English channel. It's crazy. Good shot. We're hardly getting any anymore. There's a lot of ships down there as well. <clears throat> okay. Well, those rebels are just going to do their things, but I don't want the separatists to fire. So, let's see here. Yeah. We're going to have a lot of rebels here for quite a while, honestly. It is what it is. I wonder if I could accept... Um, See here if I dang it. Can I accept Castilian? That would make things a little bit easier for me. Needs at least 20 development. So if I were to dev this up. Doesn't that seem like a huge waste? It's gonna make it a little bit easier to handle rebellions over here. Though this one might be Sicilian. No, nope, we're good. Cool. Somebody's so discontent. Hopefully that doesn't stick around for much longer. Two more years. Yeah. yeah we'll, 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 we'll handle it. We'll be good. Cool. Let's get you guys over here. Alright. So, these guys, these guys, these guys, these guys. We got our flagship over here. Cool. Get everybody grouped up. Let's head on over here and handle his rebels for him since he's going to be kind of worthless for a moment. I'll, I'll core up Castile, or uh, Corsica. That's fine. I would like to raid as much of this as I can. I actually can raid Tunis, so I should do that. I kind of want to keep these guys right here, though.
So what is what's gonna happen is I'm gonna drop these guys off over here. I'm gonna have them kill off these rebels. Have them kill off these rebels over here as well. Let's have them kill off these rebels over here, and then I'm gonna actually drop them off over in uh, whatever the the island for Cuba is, Hispanola, or I can never remember the I can never remember the difference between these the names of these two islands. So unfortunately, but all right, cool. So I'm gonna drop them off, and we are gonna go pirating. And we're gonna speed five it, baby. Oh, well, we're actually gonna have you guys suppressing rebels, so they'll siege down everything on their own. <clears throat> Alright, let's do it. Speed five, baby. Oh wait, no! We can't we can't raid off of the coast of our vassal. I am so sad right now. That is indeed what it looks like. That is such a shame. That is an absolute shame. Are these guys a pirate republic though? They're a colony. Yeah, unfortunate. Wow, that is such a bummer. Well, let's see what we can reach over here then. Read what we can. Let's see here, 37, 18, 43, it's not, not nothing, it's not nothing. Um, our problem is, is we just have way too many ships out and not enough sailors. So let's go ahead and build some more sailor buildings. Town hall, no. Um, no, wait, wait, nope, wrong button, there you go. Stock exchange, get some more trade power, why not, you know? And then um, manufacturing, sounds good. Build some conscription centers down in here so he can uh, build a larger army. He has super high autonomy everywhere but because of his particularist, but it is what it is. All right. <clears throat> So how much kind of trade is he actually getting here? 37. Out of 146, he's getting 36 and a half. That's nuts. I do need to make sure that we keep him happy with us, so... Denmark needs to continue to give us this, um... Access. So... Let's, let's come on over here raid all of this and see what we can get away with. Keep on taking these. This is going to help us out with our finances as well. We can totally raid like all of China as well. So I need to do that. I haven't done that in a while. So we raided all of this over here. Uh, some of it's been raided by uh, Morocco. Or, oh, the knights as well. Right, the knights are raiding over here. Hmm. Well, we could take Jerba. Hmm. I would like to attack and like take all of Ireland, but I really just want to wait on uh, imperialism. So I think that's what we're gonna do for that one. Um, so what's the next major conquest we're looking for then? I would like to take some land up here. Venice would be a good one to take from. Um, I could just no CB him, but I kind of don't want to, especially with, uh, Imperialism as close as it is. 
Um, raiding Constantinople, we could just crush the Ottomans right now. Um, let's go ahead and have you guys go over and privateer in uh, Genoa. It's fine with me. And then... We're actually close to our limit. I need to puff out my chest a bit. We have the manpower to land a big army now. It's just a matter of the land to build it in, you know? So what is our army composed of? Let's take a look at that. 41 and 19. So we're gonna need some more cannons. Let's go ahead and build up some cannons over here. Get ourselves up to 16. Hello? Where am I building 16? Why is it counting two every time I build one? Hello? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. That's really weird. That's fine. Back to being rich again. So let's go ahead and actually... What's going on over here? Some men. Let's go ahead and just go on a mega, mega pirating spree. We need to do this. We have neglected our duties as pirates. And we're just gonna speed five raid. Look at our money. Just check out our money up there. Just gonna keep on going and going and going. All the sailors as well. The sailors is the big thing, honestly. Money is not really an issue anymore. Like, we're super rich that having all this money isn't like, it's not a detriment to us, but it's also not really helping us. So we just gained about 2,000 ducats from that. Privateering Gujarat again. Oh, all that money's getting transferred out. Hmm. I wonder if that's actually gonna change back after we, yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, for privateering. So we actually could send a few more men over there if we really wanted to. Let's go ahead and build another pirate fleet. Send it over to Gujarat. Might be worth it. We could take Miltech now if we wanted to. But we kind of don't want to. Let's go ahead and uh, get some more manpower. We're almost gaining a thousand a month. Are we number two? We are number two. Oh, number two by a decent amount. Yeah, we're actually going to pass up, pass up Spain here soon, which is crazy. And it's funny because we're so spread out. We are so incredibly spread out. <laughs> we could totally... Um... Where's my big old, big old navy? Don't know why you guys are down there. Can we reach over here? Oh yeah, we can. Okay. Let's get you guys down here. Start uh, making sure we're handling all this over here. Our guy is pretty young, so we're going to keep him. No point in not keeping him. Just plundering as much as we can. We can intervene in a war if we want to. National unrest in fort defense or mercantilism and prestige. Well, let's go ahead and go with uh, five years of unrest reduction. That sounds wonderful. So we're just going to raid all this. Just devastate the entire coast of Africa. More unrest reduction. Sounds good to me. I don't think we can reach down there. Oh, we can. I don't think we can reach the cape, though. Yeah. That is fine. Cool. So who could we intervene against? Commonwealth and Great Britain. The Mantuan Succession War, huh? Really? <laughs> so is Russia... I could totally do this. I actually kind of want to do this. These guys are over here taking all this attrition. Um, let's uh, disband you mercs. Get you guys over here. Do we have enough? 50? Should be enough, actually. 
So we'll actually join this war against Great Britain. That sounds pretty good to me. Um, we'll be able to use it as an excuse to try uh, kicking their teeth in, right? We can totally use this as a... Ooh. It's actually got a lot of a lot of a navy there. We don't have a flagship has been sunk. We sunk his flagship. Yeah, we might need to actually flee this one. We're both losing a lot of ships, honestly. All right, interesting. So we lost a bunch of heavies, and they lost eight. Yeah, that, that doesn't sound right at all, but that's fine. So we're gonna get our dudes joined up over here with our admiral. Apparently we have some rebels going off over on Mallorca, Menorca or whatever, but that's fine. So we're gonna have these guys grouped up. Where's my navy? Here it is. How come I can raid that? I don't know. I don't get this game sometimes, man. Alright, cool. Let's get you guys grouped up over here. I'm gonna grab all these ships and we're gonna go up with a doom stack. And we're going to... Oh, hey. Apparently we're already got our doom stack. Uh, French officers. That sounds good to me. Take a bit of attrition, but it's not a big deal. Don't want to worry about that. Probably should take this mil tech if we can. Look at this giant navy. Give him one repair tech. Detach who isn't ready to roll. Mostly just lights. And uh, let's head on up over here. See if we could land on Spain. Or land on... Uh... They're converting some of the lands that I've worked so hard to convert, but that's fine. Let's head on over here. I'd be willing to bet we have better morale than them as well, which is really funny. We're going to go down to speed four, though. We're not going to keep on army quality. Uh, Burgundy's got us beat, but where's the the United Kingdom? Where are you at? UK? Hello? Where are they at? Great Britain is at 4.4. .4. Oh, my goodness gracious. Uh, yeah, that's, a, that's pretty low, actually, man. Cool. Let's go ahead and get a foothold over here in Sussex. Let's go ahead and have you guys privateering uh, the English Channel. Stack wiping all their navies as, if you can. This is what happens when you mess with the Japanese, man. Admittedly, we don't have that many men up here, though. If Great Britain has some, some men to really, like, put in the field, like, we might actually be in trouble, but... We'll wait till next month and we'll actually take this. There we go. It gives us an even better tactics advantage. Uh, it doesn't show up right there, but that's fine. Um, we're going to go ahead and put on like our really low cab. That way our rebels are not strong enough. We're getting sieged down by rebels over here, which is unfortunate. Um, let's go ahead and get a merc army. 30,000 should be absolutely plenty. And we are just destroying Great Britain's economy. He's going to be low enthusiasm very quickly. Would I be able to separate piece? I totally can. We'll see. Admittedly, I kind of wanted to wait for this. Um, for imperialism, but... Let's go ahead and... Have you guys, uh... Oh. English channel, there we go. Alright. Gonna siege down London, very good. Okay, what's my war participation? 52%. <clears throat> there we go, siege down everything over here. Killing off my navy or my uh, my rebels, which is fine. They can just sit over here in this jungle fort. 
they'll attack me and then I can just head on over and get that stuff all sorted out. Missionary strength or uh, stability. Stability is always nice. I will always take stability. Here we go. Just need to keep an eye out for a British army. Doesn't look like it's going to happen, so. Good riddance. We sunk the Commonwealth ship. We're going to need to make our new flagship. Unfortunately. Let's go ahead and bring it over here. Uh, let's go with Wokou V2. Um, we'll stick with the flagship. Or let's go with the heavy ship, I mean. Trade power. No, 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 no. We're going to go with Spare Jolly Roger and uh, Movement Speed. Don't care about trade. We're not trading. We're definitely not trading. Okay. So, Russia must be getting... Wow. Yowzers, as they would say. Cool. Eh, well, we are going to definitely try to separate peace out this war, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen because we hardly have any war exhaustion or war participation, but... Uh, I mean, we have war participation, but we hardly have any war score because we're just fighting against another miner in the war. So we'll figure it out in the next one. I just kind of wanted to get some action because I was excited. I, when I saw that I could join a major war, I was like, ooh, let's do it. <laughs> so I hope you guys are enjoying. And if you are, please show your support and leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you have not already and you want to see some more EU4 content like this. And if you want to check out the Discord or support what I do via my Patreon page. Links are going to be in the description below the video. I do want to see if I can catch out this fleet over here. Yes. Yes. Good stuff. All right. Well, they Great Britain peaced out, actually. So with all of that being said, this is Chewy Shoot, and I will catch you guys later. A big special thanks to my top supporters on Patreon, Bloodbound92 and Palmer, as well as Jaren Clampett, Lambda Driver, Corbett Gaming, Michael Walker, Gregory the Bitter Steel, Jonathan Crane, Airborne Animal 7, as well as the rest of you guys. I appreciate all you so much. If you want to check out a couple of my other series I have going on, those are going to be linked on the left and right, and don't forget to subscribe.